these motherfuckers done fucked up this time and they disrespect the virtuosa. Uh, so I talked about in my last upload that I did this morning. I will make this real quick. I live streamed the impact review. Computer froze halfway through. I'm not going to redo the review. But I did talk in depth about Deanna Perrazzo to kick off the show and how I felt that they have treated her in the last couple months. This is my opinion, of course. To me, Deanna, the virtue fucking osa. I didn't say that right. Virtue fucking osa. I'm going to stop cursing. The virtuosa. Lots of cursing this morning. To me, she's the greatest knockouts champion ever. I don't care who you put her up against. To me, she is the best. I think she's the best wrestler in the world. She's the virtuosa. You know what I mean? She she reminds us of that every time, and I'm reminding you of that right now. She is the real knockouts champion. So, Deanna Peraza won the title, what, her first match in the company? And she made every single thing work that she had to do, whether it was a tag team, whether it was singles. She always delivered. And you never... You never felt with Deanna like, what is there next to do? What can they possibly have for her? Like, there's some people that will hold, like, Taya Valkyrie held the title for so long, and then when she dropped it, it's like, what the fuck do you do now? And there, go, there I go cursing again. You never got that with Deanna. They, you know, even though she didn't really reinvent her character a whole lot, she made everything important, every feud, every match, everything. Everything worked with her. Now, the speculation is that she's on her way out of the company. Doesn't mean that they didn't resign her. Doesn't mean that she has a deal elsewhere. Maybe she freaking returns. Who knows? All I know is that they are beating the virtuosa like a drum on my television. And I do not like it. She is tapped. Three times the Trinity. She got pinned by Killer Kelly. All, all respect to Killer Kelly. She got pinned by Killer Kelly at the Bound for Glory pre-show. She wasn't even on the main show. And then she loses in a cold finish to Tasha Steeles. Now, a lot of people really like the match with Tasha Steeles. I was not on that train. It was a good match, but I didn't think it was as good as people said, like, you got to watch the opening match of Impact. I didn't feel that way. Uh, maybe it's because I had a pretty good feeling that she was going to lose. But she ultimately loses to the cutter. The cutter's a bullshit finish. She loses the two cutters, not one, but two. And I talk about it all the time because AEW has this problem. When the match should end, they go for one more move. Or they go for the finisher. There's the high impact move, but oh, got to hit the finisher. And it's a cold finish. And this was a cold finish. Beats Deanna cleanly. I was pissed when Deanna had the third match with Trinity. At the throwaway UK show or wherever she did it at. I was pissed. And of course, the response is always, well, she if she's on her way out of the company... She should do the job. She should put people over. Yo, if everybody is beating her, nobody's beating her. This win for Tasha Steeles did absolutely nothing for her. Because she has lost three, four matches in a row now. And she lost to Jordan Grace where, you know, she had Jordan Grace's number. And when Jordan Grace returned... Instead of like really telling that story, like is this where Jordan Grace finally beats her? They just put her versus Deanna in her first match back. Almost no promotion and then beat her. I don't even think Jordan Grace got anything out of beating her. Just because of the way that they did it. Now if she really is on her way out of the company, then have her lose the Tasha Steels on the way out and that's it. Don't put her in unnecessary matches with Trinity, unnecessary knockouts title matches. 
I understand you have nobody to wrestle MK Ultra, and pairing her with Tasha Steeles at Bound for Glory was very interesting. But I would have been more interested in them as the champions, not just throwing them together as a team. So, she, you know, you, one would think she would lose her direction a little bit when Chelsea Green left. But she really didn't. Like, she has never played the background at Impact. And she had all these records, these title reign, reigns, and beat this person and that person. And then she just loses to Killer Kelly and Tasha Steeles at the end, and you think that's supposed to do something? Do you think that they're going to beat Trinity on the way out the door? If if you believe, okay, someone's leaving the company, they should lose. Like Sammy Callahan was not on some crazy losing streak when he left. They challenged for the tag team titles, and he lost. If that's how you feel, if someone's leaving, that they should just do, do the honors over and over and over again, do you think Scott DeMore is going to do that for Trinity? Trinity, I keep saying this, she's going to lose one match in Impact. And I mean, actually going back on that, I think she's going to lose two. I think Jordan Grace is going to turn heel on her at Hard to Kill. Because how many matches can Trinity have where she's hugging and shaking hands and it's baby face versus baby face and they're, they're happy to be here. She's doing it again tonight versus Sunny Kiss. I think they're going to do baby face versus baby face again at Hard to Kill. Where they're going to shake hands and they're going to hug it out. Jordan Gray's going to turn on that girl. They're going to have a rematch. She's going to beat her again. And then we'll never see or hear from Trinity again, in my opinion. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. She could be part of the, uh, the, the vision for TNA. But the point is, do you think Scott DeHeadset, Scott DeCringe, Scott DeCuck would beat Trinity like that on the way out the door? No. And the reason I say it's disrespect is because you're talking about a multiple-time knockouts champion. You put the belt on her right away. She knocked every single thing out of the park. She gave you the best matches in the knockouts division. Like, there's some knockouts who you're like, yo, this girl can wrestle, but then you put her with an opponent, and it's not that good. Like, Deanna does not have a bad match. It is impossible. It is not her DNA to have a bad match. But then you just kind of beat her with a cold finish on impact. Is this the last time we're going to see her? Is that how we're supposed to remember her? Like, if you're going to, you know, pay correct homage to the Knockouts Championship and you got this, you know, incredible former Knockouts Champion you have, I mean, aren't you doing a disservice to her? Isn't, isn't that disrespect to the belt as well? Beating him like a damn drum, having her tap out multiple times. What are you doing? To someone who's probably not in the long-term vision, I'm talking about Trinity. She might be. I don't think she is. I highly doubt it. If she is, awesome. But Tasha Steeles beating her, it did absolutely nothing for her. And that's the end of the... Uh, that's how we're going to go out with the Virtuosa. Disrespect. Disrespect.